The episode starts with Doug, a guy, comes in the desert and prepares a report on a machine he has been observing. Massive earthquakes are felt in the area where he is scheduled to look over. A swarm of enormous cow-like animals emerge from the machine, which is destroyed by the earthquakes. Doug gets into his vehicle and attempts to start it, but it does not start. Ben, Kevin, and Gwen are driving to a destination. Kevin's police detector goes off, alerting him to the presence of an officer with a radar gun. Kevin creates a cloaking field around the automobile, making it momentarily invisible. Nevertheless, the radar gun is still alerted in the process. When they arrive, the region is overrun by the monsters. Ben is concerned that they will eat Kevin since they eat rocks, and Kevin's mutation is partially composed of rock. Ben rushes forward, attempting to morph into Humungusar, but fails as the animals run over him. Kevin rushes into the scene to save Ben. Gwen steps in to stop Kevin from being devoured, and Ben transforms into Brainstorm, effectively containing the monsters. They subsequently contact Max, who informs them that the animals are pyroxivores and that they are endemic to Earth, with the exception of Bigfoot, who is merely a person in a suit, Max believes this is where mythical monsters originated. They jump into Kevin's vehicle and go to the location of the explosion. They start driving through the collapsed tunnel created by the explosion. Suddenly, the automobile plummets hundreds of feet, and Kevin activates a parachute. He triggers the jet rockets because it rips. They safely land and begin exploring the cave. Kevin attempts to light a match, but Gwen blows it out as Ben informs him that the room is loaded with explosives. When an extraterrestrial dubbed Moldy Warp starts pushing boulders down, Ben morphs into Big Chill to chase him down. He admits to stealing explosives after being apprehended and that he despises friends and humanity in general. The alien leads them to an elevator, which takes them down to the location where the magma is accumulating. They realize that Vulcanus is the mastermind behind everything. Vulcanus directs his troops to look after the group. Vulcanus ready to fight, but Ben stops him. Vulcanus discusses how he used the Tate Knight he received from Kevin to purchase the Earth. Vulcanus intends to launch a bomb into the Earth's core in order to make it more like his home planet, Vulcan. While Kevin, Gwen, and Moldy Wart battle Vulcanus and his henchmen, he drops the bomb which Ben chooses to defuse. Ben is unable to utilize the Omnitrix because Gwen is besieged by a tractor, which drills through her barriers. Moldy Warp detonates the bomb, and Ben changes into Spider Monkey. He fights and defeats Vulcanus, who escapes his body armor and accelerates the bomb's detonation. Spider Monkey attempts to morph into Humungusaur in order to grab the bomb, but instead turns into Jitre, and the bomb falls, prompting him to pursue it. Jetre leaves the tunnel by destroying the bomb with his Neuroshock Blasts before it can do any harm. He rejoins his squad, turns back into Ben, and discovers Moldy Warp plotting to blow up the region to keep Vulcanus at bay. They get to Moldy Warp's automobile and flee the cave region before it explodes. They reach the surface, where Moldy Warp rejoins his Pyroxivore herd. Kevin is relieved that Vulcanus squandered his money. Ben declares that they must return to the Pyroxivores underneath. Moldy Warp agrees and discloses that he eats them, revolting Ben and Gwen, and the episode concludes with this.